All right, at Fox 5 Health News, looks like this year's flu shots, a good match. Experts say the vaccine so far proving effective in keeping flu cases down. Joining us is Dr. Devin Nampia Parampo of NYU School of Medicine. So good to see nice you. Nice to see you. Um, okay, well, so this is a good thing compared to some previous years. I think it's a great thing. I mean, the reason why it varies from year to year is because the manufacturers actually have to make the vaccine much earlier than flu season, right? So flu season is from about October to about May. But in order to have the flu vaccine ready by October, they start making it the you know several months before right. that and so they rely on a prediction a forecast kind of like the weather forecast to see what flu is going to be coming around at that time and then year to year they have some trouble because the prediction might not be right but this year so far it looks pretty good I mean the hospitalizations are down the number of cases are down I mean there's there any still... tie into the weather though because it's been so warm or... um, I don't know for sure but of course with the weather I mean it probably affects other medical conditions right so if you're sicker if you have asthma if you have other mm. things where maybe the weather also has a big role, sure. then of course you're more susceptible to the flu and you can have more complications. I know a lot of people though, you know, we don't want people to take it easy, right? Mm -hmm. And say, oh, okay, the flu's not that bad this year. Even if you're healthy, even if you think you're protected, you're better off getting the vaccine, not just for yourself, but for the people around you, right? Because mm -hmm. like, how do people get sick? They get it from somebody else, you know, just like any other kind right. of cold virus. So if you protect yourself, you won't spread it to other you're people. You're doing great until the day you get the flu and then you're <laughs> having bad flu season all the time. That's a good point. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, and this one's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Tinder, which you know we all think of a uh, matchmaking scene, um, but they have a different kind of match on their minds. This is very noble. I thought so too. I mean, so what they're doing is they're actually trying to help people who are looking for organs, right? Now, most of us are in favor of organ donation, but not all of us have signed up to be actual organ donors. So even if you could be an organ donor, your organs may not be used at that time, right? And now they're working in the UK. This is not actually in the US, but they're working mm. with people in the U, uh, UK to kind of match people with organs, like to show them how they could become organ donors mm. if they wanted to. So not forcing people to do it, they're just showing them how they would do it. And the idea is that three celebrities are participating in this ad campaign. So when their photos pop up, you know, if they swipe right, if the person sw swipes right, it comes up with that information and says, oh, if only it was that easy to, uh, for people oh, who are looking for organs to right. kind of get oh, that. Right. Okay. Yeah, so I think, you know, what I like about it is that usually we separate things out into industries like, okay, this is right. healthcare, right. this is something else, you know, but in this case, a dating app yeah, is actually, awareness. Yeah, is actually nice. promoting health. Cuts so through the clutter. It's pretty innovative. Thank you so much. Good deal. All right, <laughs> nice. Dr. Debbie, none of us will be seen on Tinder, though we're all happily married. <laughs> yes, yes. Congratulations to you. All right. Thank you.